In this video I'm going to show you how I created a Bluetooth satellite speaker system using some speaker kits from Rockler, Baltic Birch and a Bluetooth amplifier board I ordered off the web. I'll put a link to everything I used for this build in the description. So the first thing uh, I looked at was the size of my space and in this instance I'm doing this for my shop which is about 200 square feet or 18 and a half square meters. I wanted to have two bookshelf style speakers hanging from the ceiling and a modest sized subwoofer that would rest on the floor powered by an amplifier for the top speakers and the subwoofer. This setup is very effective and is mirrored in many computer setups uh, and music listening environments. The first thing I want to do is build the upper speakers. So to make the speakers I started out with cutting up some half inch Baltic birch plywood and the kit here tells you the suggested size of the speakers for the best sound so I followed those specifications to make the box. I really wanted clean edges so I went with mitered corners. Now the kit's instructions tells you exactly where you should make the holes, how big etc so I simply followed those. I didn't have a bit that was exactly the right size, uh, so I went for a slightly smaller size and then I used a rasp and sandpaper to get the holes to the right dimensions so the speakers would fit in perfectly. Now I'm using a speaker kit for this project, however you could definitely take apart some old speakers and build a new case for them and repurpose old equipment. To fit the bottom and the top in, I made some rabbits on the router table. Then it was simply a matter of gluing the pieces together. And uh, using corner clamps is really helpful when you want to make sure everything is square. I also added a block in the corners which I glued and stapled in for additional stability. Now the boxes are glued together, except from the back which is open, and I'm just checking to make sure uh, all the speaker parts fit in the holes. I'm connecting uh, the speaker parts together here, and I'm simply following the instructions that came with the kit. The back side has a hole for a piece that the wires go into, so putting that in and simply drilling holes around that piece so I can later connect the box together. Now I want to make a sealed speaker box, uh, so I decided to put some black caulk in the corners on the inside to make sure the sound doesn't escape. And then I'm sanding the box is smooth. So in terms of finish, I wanted these to look really classic and sleek, so I decided to go with an ebony die. Here you can see that I'm first raising the grain and sanding it down before applying the dye. I, I really like dye, it doesn't smell like stain and it dries really quickly and it really comes out great. For a top coat I went with shellac. Once everything was dry I put in the electronics and connected everything. I also put down some hot glue to secure the soundproofing filler. And uh, then I closed the box and repeated with the second one. To install the speakers I want to hang them off the beams. So I've got two metal L brackets here and I'm just making uh, some smaller holes here. And then spray painting the metal with a darker color. Then I installed the brackets to the beams at an angle and then secured the speakers uh, onto the brackets. For the subwoofer I utilized another speaker kit and omitted the tweeters uh, and put both woofers in the same box. These 6.5 inch woofers uh, are pretty small but effective for this small space. I roughly laid out where the woofers would go on a piece of wood and determined the overall size from there. I created a simple box for this job, again using Baltic birch plywood and cut out circles to hold the speakers perfectly. I glued and screwed the side pieces in and simply screwed down the top to close the box. The base box will be sitting on the floor so I wanted to make some feet uh, to get it off the ground a little bit. Then a little sanding to get all the edges nice and smooth. 
And then I died at this box as well. Once that dried, I put in the two woofers. And I hot glued in the air holes here. Then connecting the electronics. And I put in the wire input unit on the back. Then I put in some of the soundproofing filler and closed the box up. To cover the screw holes, I put in some more black caulk. So I built a fourth smaller box out of quarter inch Baltic birch plywood to house the amplifiers. Just gluing it together here. It has section drilled and chiseled out to fit the amplifier perfectly. And I cut little pieces for feet for this box as well and glued and clamped them down. Then I dyed the whole package with the same black ebony. So here we have the box ready to be assembled. As you can see it has several holes drilled out already to fit the electronics. Now let me show real quick what will fit inside the box. The 12 volt power comes and first I have a booster that will boost the power to 20 volts. Right before that though I have a simple switch connected with an 820 ohm resistor to a red light which connects to the positive side of the booster. Off the booster the power splits in two and goes into two amplifiers. One is a Bluetooth amplifier which connects to the satellite speakers and the other is a low pass subwoofer amplifier which connects to the subwoofer. Both the speakers and the amplifiers are 8 ohms. Now let's get back to the box. First of all, I drilled six holes on the side where the speaker wires will go in. So I'm doing a little DIY connection here using a bolt and several nuts. Two on the inside and two on the outside of the box. So securing those in place. And to make sure I don't get confused, I'm marking out which one will be positive with a red marker. Next, I'm securing the subwoofer amplifier in the middle and I have holes drilled out for the knobs there. Putting in the switch and the light so that I can turn the whole system on and off. So securing that with some hot glue. Then I'm putting in the power cord in the back. And securing the booster in place. So connecting the power to the booster. Then securing the Bluetooth amp with some hot glue. And doing a little soldering to connect the wires together. The whole system will be controlled by Bluetooth, so that amplifier needed to be the primary source. That's why I needed to piggyback the signal onto the other subwoofer amplifier. Okay, and now connecting the wires here to the speaker nuts, and then connecting those wires to the amplifiers. And then connecting speaker wires on the other side, and tightening the nuts. Now let's plug the power into the amps and see what we got. I also turned some knobs on the lid out of walnut for the subwoofer knobs that you can see here. And uh, then let's turn the whole system on. are done and they are up and they sound good and I'm really happy about it. I mean first when I was thinking about this video I really wanted to create a great sounding system for the shop because I spent so much time here so it's uh, I really been wanting to have a better system here for a long time now and I, and I thought it'd be kind of cool uh, to make my own which is why I was really happy to be able to work from the kit like this. However if you don't have a kit you could certainly use um, old speakers, any kind of speakers, uh, to create this kind of custom system for your space. And of course it's really cool with the Bluetooth. I mean I really love that because then I can play things from my phone or you know the computer or whatever. So anyway, my name is Lynn and this is the Jarbon Orbit channel. Don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here because I put out project videos every week. Um, otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.